And we're talking about creature baits today, and what they are is basically baits that really don't look like anything natural, but they trigger a lot of strikes. They have a lot of appendages, they have craw claws on them, they have twister tail kind of ends on them. Okay, and the color we're using today is called Okeechobee Craw. It's a very popular color. It's almost like a green pumpkin gold on one side and a sapphire blue on the other. For the setup, I'm using an Owner 5 aught extra wide gap hook that's extra strong. And for a weight, I'm using a tungsten 3 8 ounce blue with blue fleck weight. And as a stop, I'm using a black bobber stop. So I slide that black bobber stop down and it locks that weight into place. And that stops that weight from coming up. And when you talk about rigging this bait, we're gonna go through this really quickly and we'll get a close look at it. When you Texas rig a bait like the Crack Craw, what you're looking to do is go in through the head of the bait, just down about a quarter or a half an inch and come out. And you're gonna slide this bait up to that neck on the hook. Then what you wanna do is line up where that hook meets the bait. You wanna poke that hook through the bottom, just like that. So you can see what I've got there. Then what I'm doing is I'm taking the plastic, pulling it back and actually burying the tip of the hook right into the plastic. So this is completely weedless. This will allow me to get this bait through the heaviest limbs and brush piles, even the branches, no matter what, so I can get that into where the fish are living. Now when we talk about using this technique, we're looking for trees. Trees that have shade, a little bit of water on them. They don't have to be super deep. The deeper they are, the better they are. But in a lot of cases, a foot and a half, even a foot of water sometimes will hold fish. And they will go right in there. And especially on sunny days like we have today, they're gonna to be looking for that shade and they're gonna be ambushing from the shade out. So if something goes in there, the first thing they're gonna to wanna to do is pounce all over it. So what you're looking to do is basically pitch your bait up under the tree. So you're gonna look for that dark spot. So you're gonna take your bait and you're gonna roll it right up under there. And when you're working the bait, what you're gonna end up doing is shaking it in there and just kind of moving it like a craw. If you don't get bit the first time, don't give up. There's a lot of spots a fish can hide inside of a tree. So you're gonna take that bait, fire it as far back as you can get it up into the tree and just work it back nice and slow. There's one right there. It's that easy. When you're working the baits, you wanna just crawl them and keep a good eye on your line. And there's a lot of fish that can live under one tree. This fish, as soon as I pitched it right to the back, he just kind of was hopping it back and he swam over and he chunked it really quickly. It's a great way to get a lot of fish by flipping trees. To order WFM, contact your TV service provider today. WFM, it's a great day for fishing.